Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us reflect on the third Sunday of Easter. The third Sunday of Easter, I would like us to begin from the first reading, the proclamation of St. Peter and the other apostles during this time, saying that the Lord Jesus Christ has been raised. And we are witnesses to this. I would like us to begin with this because in our life journey, the Lord Jesus is always there accompanying us. The Lord Jesus is always there to be with us, to guide us, to enlighten us, and to always be our companion. In the gospel, the narrative is precisely about this. Jesus, the unknown the unknown traveler is walking with two of his disciples towards Emmaus. And so they didn't know who this traveler is. In the early Christianity from the fathers of the church, also even mentioned by St. John Paul II, that in this passage, the Lord Jesus, the risen Lord, is the viator, the unknown wayfarer, the viator. And so also in our life journey, there is Jesus walking with us. Like the two disciples, we are walking in this life, maybe downcast, maybe sad, not seeing hope. But with Jesus now walking with them, explaining to them about what really happened, explaining to them about the scriptures regarding Jesus of Nazareth. So now, Afterwards, they realized that, that it was actually Jesus, the risen Lord. And so after that, they said, were not our hearts burning when he explained the scriptures to us? In our lifetime as well, the Lord unknown traveler walks with us. He promised us that he will be with us until the end of time. He will not abandon us. In the midst of our trials, in the midst of our sadness, in the midst of our confusions and many chaos in our life, He is there. All we have to do is call on Him. All we have to do is present to Him our confusions, our many problems, present to Him. And He will be there to explain. And we should have the patience indeed to learn and relearn lessons from the Lord Jesus. He walks with us. In this uh, third Sunday of Easter, I believe two things very important we must never forget. First, as Jesus walks with us, we should never be afraid in our Christian life. We should never be afraid to live our faith to the fullest and to share that faith to others. We should never be afraid to live our life our human life, in our work, in our relationships, always confident in the good, in the truthful, and in the godly. When everything that we do is good and is that what is coherent to our faith, we must never be afraid. The Lord is walking with us. And even in our times of sinfulness, in our times of we have been away from God, call on Him. And He will come and walk with you again to be reconciled once again to the Heavenly Father and be reconciled with Him, our Lord of glory. So we have to be confident in our daily life. The viator, the unknown way, wayfarer, the traveler is with us. Jesus Christ, the risen Lord. Second, let us also bear this in mind that in the gospel narrative they recognized him in the breaking of the bread the disciples recognized jesus the risen lord when the lord broke the bread and from early on this is the image of the eucharist the breaking of bread in fact is the holy mass the eucharist at the early christianity the Mass is not called the Mass, but the breaking of bread. We break the bread. And that is why the Eucharist, 
we recognize Jesus in the breaking of bread in the Eucharist. Jesus is truly alive. Jesus is really present. And that is why we go to the Mass. So that we feed on Him and feeding on Him we have life. And we go to the Mass so that going to the Mass, talking to Him, we have also the insights in how to live our life to the fullest. Let us remember that. We have to love the Mass. We have to have devotion of the Mass, of the Holy Eucharist. Going to the Mass is going to Jesus. And we recognize Jesus in the Eucharist, in the breaking of the bread. Let us walk in this life with joy, with gladness, because indeed God has lifted us up and has made us his children in Christ Jesus. And that every moment now of our life, God is there. Jesus is there accompanying us. The unknown traveler, but now he is known. He is the risen Lord, alive, and we are witnesses to this truth. May you and I put into practice this good news of this third Sunday of Easter. Happy Easter in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.